How's it going? I'm Malachi Greb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. So I get asked this question quite often. Does a software engineering degree apply to industrial automation? And do you think I'll be able to get a job in industrial automation? My personal opinion on this is, yes, I think you're 110% applicable to an industrial automation job, especially if you're looking to do programming level stuff. And also depending on like how good of a software engineer are you, can you program some programs fairly well? Are you able to do that? Like, are you like an expert level software engineer or are you just getting out of college with a software engineering degree and you haven't really coded anything at all? So if you're just not getting out of college, it's gonna be just about like any other degree. It's gonna be a little bit more complicated for you to get a job unless you've been like writing code and, and, and maybe written some applications after or prior to graduation if that's the case you may be even more applicable than people who are coming out of like robotics programs or especially like other engineering type of degree to be honest as of right now software engineering is probably the best engineering degree you can go for if you want to program like PLCs and robots and program automation equipment and the reason why I say a software engineer has these capabilities is because generally a software engineer learns structures and a lot of your classes are going to teach you different structures and like different programming methods that are very, very good that I feel like because of the lack of education in our industry, a lot of people do not get those fundamental structures of how to program and how to be organized in your programming. It, it's, it's very much like note taking. Uh, if you're a software engineer, you kind of already know this. Like, you know, the way you do loops and the way, like certain practices that you don't want to do, like, you know, you, you don't want to end up in an infinite loop where you can never get out of that loop and never have any case handling and stuff along those lines. So I think that you're highly applicable to the industry and also you already have an engineering degree. If you wanted to like add something to it, I would take like a robotics program on top of that, like go and take like a two year degree for like industrial automation or robotics or just take some overall PLC courses that are not even maybe out of college or maybe not out of college. Or if you're still in software engineering, if your school offers any type of robot or PLC programs and you can get those passed off as electives for your engineering degree, a lot of times if you go talk to your advisor, they're able to kind of pull some strings and, and, and be able to apply some of those uh, elective style classes as like a PLC or robot class. And that'll give you overall more diversity and understanding of the industry itself and what your like programming is going to look like the different like handshaking and things that you'll have to deal with uh, when it comes to like PLC and robot because you have inputs and outputs and stuff like that when it comes to software programming they're used in a little bit different context if you ask me and, and, and the discussion and the dialogues different between the two that's something to keep in mind and will be a huge huge value add if you're already a software engineer Go ahead and pick up some type of like PLC programming software. You can get PLC programming software for free from a few different vendors uh, like Phoenix Contact offers one. And so you can just download that and start playing around with some of the, the programming. Now PLC uses what's called ladder logic, which is definitely going to be way different than structured text programming. And to be honest, I like structured text programming better. It is more complicated in needing to know the commands, whereas like with PLC, you just kind of like drag and drop stuff. There are commands like instructions is what they're called. Instructions are what they're called in, in PLC where they're basically like blocks of code to perform some sort of function. There are those differences, but overall structured text has way more commands than you ever have in a PLC. And then when it comes to robot code, a lot of robot code is structured text programming in like a canned form. So you have like an if statement and then it forces you to use like, hey, here's the things that you can use for this if statement. Here's the outputs that you can use for this if statement. When it comes to robot programming, you should almost instantaneously be able to pick it up. Obviously your syntax is probably gonna be different, but overall, the grand scheme of things, the programming is very, very similar. And if you're looking to get in the industrial automation space, I would 110% say do it. It's gonna be a growing industry. And I really think people with that software engineering background are really some of the most powerful people in our industry because they understand a lot of what goes on in the background and like what is going on on a hardware level and, and what the device is actually doing. And you can really start doing some really powerful programming and doing some custom programming, which you don't necessarily have to do a lot of, but 
it opens up some doors to be able to do some really cool things with different equipment. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Uh, we'd be more than happy to help. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you want to see more content related to the industrial automation space, this is what we're going to be talking about here is industrial automation, you know, different career stuff, schooling, education, uh, skill sets, how to get jobs. And that's just one side of things. Then we're going to be talking about uh, how to set up different devices and how to get devices communicating, PLC programming, robot programming, and essentially anything and everything you can think of that's going to be involved in the industrial automation and uh, specifically for us systems integrators. So we look forward to seeing you around. We look forward to seeing you down in the comments below and we'll catch you next time.